Hey guys, Tennessee Frank here, and uh, we're going to take a look at another Linux distro I ran across on uh, DistroWatch. And from time to time, I like to go on there, and I'll, I'll get curious about something, want to see something. Um, and so I'll go in their search function, and just kind of look around and see what's available. And I was kind of curious about OpenBox. Um, it's uh, another kind of a minimal desktop environment like you see here and uh, Sparky Linux happened to have a, a version that's running open box and it's their rescue edition and uh, where the MX that I showed you had a lot of really neat tools on it to uh, rescue and recover systems that have been damaged this rescue edition has a lot of really cool tools and uh, because it's open box you don't have the traditional menu um, basically what you'll go, you can go anywhere on the desktop and right click and that'll give you a menu. So you can go through here and look for things. And uh, you can see there are quite a bit of things on here. Um, they also do have an area. It's kind of like a menu down here in the lower left. You click it and it will pull up uh, kind of like a, a dashboard type menu where you can see everything that's installed um, you can see there's like a ch router bulk renamer um, we can go ahead and do the about sparky linux pull that open see if it'll pop up here i double clicked it it should pop up it may take a second there it is um, we're running this in a uh, virtual machine on my uh, my computer uh, it's in GNOME boxes, so it may not be as snappy or quick uh, as it could be. But uh, yeah, you can see Sparky Linux 6, uh, code name Po Tolo. And uh, it is the 64 bit version. They do have a 32 bit. So you can get, uh, you know, your, your older machines running. The i386 uh, older stuff is enabled. Uh, it is the open box desktop environment here we can see and uh, it shows your users and groups and what have you but uh, yeah I thought this was kind of cool uh, it's got a lot of neat stuff custom ISO builder if you wanted to put together your own little uh, spin of a Linux distro you can do that it has clam TK you can open that and uh, scan for viruses on systems. So uh, let's say your buddy has a Windows machine and he picked a virus up, kind of messed the system up. You can boot into this uh, through a USB stick, go to ClamTK, open uh, ClamTK, update your virus uh, definitions, and then you can scan his hard drive. So if he does have any viruses, you can take care of it. Or uh, let's say you need a uh, boot repair. And uh, no, not your cowboy boots. <laughs> this is uh, what boots you into your system. That kind of boot repair. Um, it does have a tool there to do that. It's got a, a Debian package builder. Since Sparky is built on Debian, so you know it'll be good and stable. Um, we got disk usage analyzer, uh, file management, firewalls, all kinds of cool stuff. Hex chat, so you need to go on and... Uh, Go to Hex Chat and talk to someone about an issue or something. Uh, Gparted's here. That's a good one. Uh, what else do we got? There's a, a browser here that I'm not real sure what it is. A lot of these things I've never used. Um, Live USB Creator. That's kind of handy. Of course, a lot of your usual suspects. Uh, VLC, Firefox... Uh, LibreOffice, stuff you can use on a, a normal distribution for daily use and uh, daily work is not going to be in here. Uh, this is, like I said, more of a, a tool for rescuing systems. So you got a lot of stuff to rescue systems, not a whole lot of stuff uh, just to do daily work. Synoptic Package Manager is in here, which is uh, kind of nice. They do have an installer here too uh, an advanced installer which is kind of nice 
They have a system upgrader in a very large font right there. They have a system profiler and benchmark, uh, which we may know as hard info whenever I install. It's a pseudo apt install hard info, and it'll get you that, which will uh, give you information about your system, which is kind of nice. Um, they are running the Thunar file management, uh, which that's uh, from XFCE, which it's a good file manager. No issues with it. But, uh, you know, they have some uh, Zulu Crypt and VeraCrypt, a few different terminal emulators here. So if you need terminals, you you got terminals. They do give you a web browser. Let's see which web browser we're getting here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be Firefox. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Let's go ahead and let it open up. We'll see what kind of web browser we have. Let's even go here. They do. You do have the ability of doing an incognito. Uh, let's see about web. They're just calling it web. Uh, not even sure what it's based on. It says a simple, clean, beautiful view to the web. Powered by WebKit GTK. So yeah, you're, you're not getting Chrome. You're not getting Firefox or... You know, any of the, the standard web browsers, it's just a little thing called web that I guess lets you uh, go on the internet and, and do a little bit of surfing if you need to uh, look something up. But we can go ahead, we can get rid of that. And uh, like I said, the cool thing about OpenBox, anywhere on the desktop you want to go, you can open your menus. Uh, you don't necessarily have to come down here. Which makes it handy. I mean, let's say you're doing something over here and need to open. Boom, you just open. Simple as that. And uh, there is like a quick help for different things. And you can see all kinds of stuff installed on here. Um, we got HTOP, regular top, task manager, sensors. We can pull that open. You know, this will uh, kind of let you know what's going on with your system. Terminal emulators, uh, we got four different terminal emulators, couple root terminals, and then uh, LX terminal. We have a remote desktop too, like TeamViewer. Let's say you were running this on hardware and a buddy's having issues with his system. You can remote into his system, look around and maybe use some of these tools to help him out. Malware, you you know, Clam TK, you can go scan systems for uh, viruses and malware. There's encryption tools. Tons and tons of different stuff right here. Clonezilla, which is uh, good for cloning hard drives. You've got your settings here. Let's see what kind of screensavers we have. I'm just kind of curious. This is... Uh, your different screen savers and uh, we can disable that that way we won't get any screen savers let's go check out uh, let me see what kind of wallpaper we might have see if we got any other wallpapers installed Yeah, it looks like uh, pretty much same same wallpaper. They don't have a lot. Because like I said, this is made more to be a tool than it is a daily driver. Um, but I just thought I would kind of show this to you. If, uh, if you're needing some kind of tool to throw on a USB stick to uh, go in and rescue systems or, or, you know, do work to get rid of malware on a system or something, you might check out Sparky Linux multi or that's well that's multimedia edition now. They have the multimedia. Wow, let me see here. Where were we? Wallpaper. They got one that says multimedia, which they do have a multimedia edition. That's probably why they got all the wallpapers in here. This is the rescue edition. Let's not get confused. Um, they do have a multimedia edition. If you're going to do multimedia stuff. Uh, like you saw before, I looked at the Game One edition with uh, tons of games installed. And uh, they, they have a lot of different editions. 
So uh, if you're looking for uh, uh, something to use, Lennox Distro based on Debian Good and Stable, check out some of the Sparky Lennox editions. Uh, I like Sparky. I've run them in the past, although right now I am back on Debian. I kind of gave up on MX. I was getting a lot of screen tearing and uh, couldn't get that issue resolved. So I'm back on Debian, and uh, they do have Debian 10.6 out now. But I just thought I'd give you guys a real quick look at uh, another cool distribution of Linux that's out there that you can download and use for free. So, like I always say, either we stand up for our rights, or we can sit by and watch them go away. Y'all have an awesome rest of the day. We'll talk to you later. Tennessee Frank out of here.